So, so depending on who mom and dad were, the amount of leakage of these electrons can be greater or lesser, but in yeah. everyone, to some extent, there's always, you know, it's never perfect. And there's always going to be some leakiness. There's going to be some reactive oxygen species. And that is an inevitable consequence of this oxygen-based metabolism. Exactly. That's, that's what we think is what's going on. And that's what we also think is the root cause of the need for sleep mm -hmm. in animals that have uh, neurons that are uh, that are energy or power hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, so this makes a lot of sense so far. If sleep is fundamental, meaning that we see it in everything from jellyfish to flies to mice to humans, it has to be tied to, it has to be serving some function that's also fundamental. And jellyfish don't have a hippocampus, uh, neither do flies for that matter. You know, there has to be something that all of these animals need. And what they all have in common is this, this metabolism, this oxygen-based metabolism that uses mitochondria to create energy. Exactly. And so let's talk a little bit more about the side effects of aerobic metabolism here. So we're using oxygen as an electron acceptor. Uh, it's got advantages and disadvantages. When we have this leakiness in the mitochondria, when we generate reactive oxygen species, why is that bad? Uh, what, do they, what do they do? What are they lighting on fire uh, that creates side effects or problems for our cells? 